hello and welcome, or should I say, welcome back, to episode 43 of series 1 of Master League Story Mode. What a long week it's been, oh my god. I've missed you guys, I hope you've missed me and Tim Sherwood too. I've been on holiday, Tim has been on holiday, sunning himself, wasn't quite as sunny where I was unfortunately, but let's let's not get into that. Let's get back into the football, because that's what I've been raring to do all week. So we're midway through the January transfer window. We're in a bit of a pickle, in that we've got minus 875,000 in the coffers. We've got Fredericks, who would be a great signing. We've got him poised to go for only 200,000, but we can't do that until we've cleared our negative balance. So we can't really do that unless we get a bid in for Zarati, who's about the only player. We're happy to pay. We're happy to sell. We can't really sell any of these players we've had bids for. Adama Traore, the only possible one at 5.7. We could perhaps, perhaps put a bid in for Jordan Ibe, who would be a decent replacement for Adama Traore. But would that be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction just to sign a right back as well? It possibly would be. Uh, we'll see what we can get him for, though. Other than that, we've just got to wait for, hopefully, a bit for Zerati. Okay, let's take a look at the teams for today's match. Everyone looking good, except for Doughty. That's no good. Downward arrow. We might have to bring in low, but I think we'll probably pull Emmy back into central midfield. It's not his ideal position, but he can play there. Then we'll play Redmond attacking midfielder. Adama Traore out on the right. This is a very attacking formation. Reese Oxford, that's a shame, but we can bring in the captain, Grant Hanley. Capable replacement. Quick look at Cardiff, who obviously we know well. Makeda up front is dangerous. Whittingham in the centre. They've got a decent back line as well. But we should be beating this team at home. I might be a little bit rusty after a week off. But we've been pretty dominant. So here we are, back at Ewood Park. A week seems like such a long time for us to have been away from this theatre of dreams. The Blackburn fans, expectant against another championship promoted team there's Grant Handy back in the squad with East Reese Oxford on the bench expecting a big performance from him today here we go we've got Redmond playing an attacking midfield today that should be interesting he's been progressing really well Buendia first time early ball into Bacali takes it down really nicely away from Ridwell the curling shot straight at Marshall but that is serious intent there from Blackburn straight off the mark second time of asking oh McKay has nicked it back Wendia playing a little bit deeper. He'd won it back, but he gives it away. It's fallen to Makeda. Traore gets a shot in. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the start we needed. That was pretty poor. It looked like Wendia had won it back. The touch took it away from him. And then we know what happened next. No need for that. Decent play here from Cardiff again. That's a lovely little dummy there from Saidi. Makeda, can he get a shot? And he can't. Tyler looks early for Ulari. He's got the pace to get ahead of Morrison. Look at that from the big man. We know he's got the strength to get there ahead of him. Can he get a shot off? He can. Oh, it's a good save. Great play from Ulari. Really strong play. Great close control there from Tyder. Still got it. Little chip into the box for Ulari. The header down into the floor. Into the goal. What a lovely ball in from Tyder. Great turn to get away from Pilkington. Then another touch pass and great strength from the Algerian. And then it's a lovely little dink into Ulari. Heads it right into the floor. Catches the keeper out. And that's one all. Hentley had come out of position there. Leaving Pilkington with a lot of space to run into. This is dangerous here. Ball into Makeda who's been tricky so far. That's a great ball in. Great pass. Wow. Oh, Emi Buendia. He's been caught out there. Oh, Buendia struggling a little bit in the deeper role. Traore, oh that's a great goal, absolutely great goal, great ball again from Safir Tide, who's really pulling the strings today, Safir Tide does well to deal with an overthrown throw, he takes it down and this ball first time into Traore, he takes it well, good touch, good finish, he hasn't had many games this season but he's uh, putting in a real case to Tim Sherwood that he deserves a start, Redmond we've not seen anything from him yet. Nice, so he gets it back from Ulari. He's got Buendia in the middle. He's made a run ahead of Gunnarsson. Emi Buendia! And he gets his goal. He didn't have a great start to the game. A couple of defensive errors leading to the first goal and nearly a second. But put him in an attacking position. And although his overall rating wouldn't suggest it, he is pretty fucking special. It's a really great end to the half there for Blackburn. Played our way back into it. Oh, Ulari nearly sneaks in. Although we don't have those goals. But anyway, great stuff. It's a bit dicey at times, but we played our way back into it. 
didn't hurry it, didn't rush it, and now we're two goals up. Oh, Grant Hanley. Such power. Into Bacali. He's got options in the middle. It's got to be four. And it is. Great goal. Trari on the far post. Really good play, though, from the captain, Grant Hanley. He's not had a starting position in recent weeks. But he stepped out of defence really strongly there. Took it from the Cardiff player. Passed another. And this was a great ball. Out to Bacali. He was in acres of space. He had Ulari and Traore to aim for in the middle. Puts it all the way out to Traore. And that's his second of the game. Oh, Traore. I mean, Ulari, too much power. Ball into Nathan Redmond with the left. Oh, Redmond, but on the rebound. He nicks in there. Redmond gets his goal as well. The floodgates are truly opened here for Blackburn. Traore gets it down into Buendia. He's got space to run into. He loves these positions. Oh, he's just overcooked that one, but he's still got it. Oh, he's taken down in the area. It's got to be a penalty. Ref waves it off. Duffy, strong play. Redmond back to Tider. Sapir Tider here. He's got space on the edge of the box. Can he hit one? He can. Oh, the keeper ruined to the spot. Sapir Tider caps off a mountainous performance for the captain. Still the captain. Hanley even. I think he might be the club captain came in. But Tim Sherwood has kept the armband with Sapir Tider. And he's lived up to that armband massively. I mean, the Cardiff players all stepped off. Kule Manga slid in last minute. But he's hit that so well. Henley gets across. Oh, he gets ahead of Makeda really well. Takes it away from Steele. Kicks it thin air. Oh, decent distribution there as well. And that's a win. And a fairly comfortable one in the end. Although it looked a bit sketchy at the beginning. Blackburn came ban back for a pretty comfortable 6-1 win. Two goals from Adama Traore. Good performance from him. Pretty comprehensive there. Dharma Traore got two. Redmond got his goal and played well. Safir Tide had a great game. Two assists and a goal. So, top of the league. Whoa! What is going on with this Master League? It's insane. Tim Sherwood's second season. And nearly at Christmas. Oh no, we're past Christmas. Midway through the January transfer window. Blackburn are two points clear. This is Leicester-esque. But even more ridiculous. So, Jordan Ibe, how much could we get him for? We could potentially... Sell Adama Traore, but he had a great game there. We wouldn't want to sell him, would we? 289,000 they want for him. That's really, really cheap. He's transfer listed. Oh, that's tempting. Because then we could sell Adama Traore. This is a sort of swashbuckling transfer window action that Tim Sherwood has become renowned for in Master League story mode. Oh, it's a, is it a free transfer? I don't get it. Well, that would be decent. So then we could sell Adama Traore. We could buy Fredericks. And then we'd have a little bit more money left over. Well, that is certainly a turn up for the books. That makes things a little bit tricky. Jordan Ibe, not quite the player that Adama Traore is. Oh, that's no good. I think that is Armand Traore. He's not getting any better. Okay, so this is a real challenge. We've got challenges in the transfer window, but this one is a particularly tricky game against Chelsea. Okay, let's take a look at the teams. Everyone looking good. Doughty back into the team. Oxford back in. Although Hanley had such a great game, as did Alama Traore. Difficult to know what to go with here. Tempted to go with uh, Redmond attacking midfield. And Adama Traore out on the right. Wendia looking tired. Ooh. Let's think about this. I think we're going to play Adama Traore. We're going to drop Emmy. Oh, no, we can't drop Emmy, can we? I don't think we can. Oxford, how's he going to fare against Diego Costa? Would we be better off with Hanley in there? We know that Hanley is the stronger player, but not by much. He's definitely not as quick. No, we'll stick with our usual team. Adama Traore is a good impact sub, I think. However well he played in that game. Goes without saying though, ridiculously strong Chelsea team, but made even stronger by the looks of it, by the purchase of David Alaba, the Austrian from Bayern Munich. That is an incredible signing. That is going to be make things just that little bit more difficult. That left hand side. Oh, Henley, you're gonna have a bit of a struggle there. Hazard and Alaba coming at you. Jesus. 
So, wow, fuck, this is going to be a hard game. Not only are we away from home, which has always been a struggle, we're up against a very strong Chelsea team with David Alaba at left back. Eden Hazard just in front of him. Diego Costa. Oh, he's scary. Look at that face. It's going to be a real test for us. But we're top of the league and we're flying. So, oof. Lovely play here from Blackburn. Early ball in towards Ulari. He gets his head on it. Oh, he's got ahead of Cahill there. Couldn't put it on target. It was a good ball in from Alain Traore. Laurie had a lot to do from that distance. It's Hazard. Skins Henley there. He's got Alaba inside of him. He's got away from Henley. Here is David Alaba back into Eden Hazard. We knew that was going to be a dangerous combination. They proved it there straight away. Great tackle from Ilari on John Terry. Ball into him. He went to here. He's hit the post. Revan with the... Oh, Wow. Wow. Emi Buendia, big game player. We know that. Great tackle from Doughty. Buendia couldn't get there, though. It's a really good ball to Willian. He's got Costa in the middle. Oh, Oxford comes out. That's really strong play from the centre-back. And as he does, as he tends to, he likes to launch the break. God, he's got John Terry up against him. He knows he's got him for pace. Get the ball in, he can. Nathan Revan with the header. It's fallen to Ulari. Oh, flashes it across the goal. Good play from Doughty there. Oh, that's a poor ball from Safir Tide, and you don't hear that very often. But he slides in there. Great play. He managed to get that through to Redmond. He has. Nathan Redmond. Can it be 1 0? It is 1 0. Unbelievable scenes here at Stamford Bridge. It's Blackburn Rovers. Top of the league, Blackburn Rovers go ahead. Slightly fortuitous there. Tider slides in after the poor pass. Potentially fouled him. But that ball through. David Alaba is just pushed out of the way by Nathan Redmond. And he finishes with the left foot. What a goal that is. Oh, Tider's won it back. He's on a real burner today. Lovely ball into Lari. He's got the strength to get away from him. Hits it with the left foot. Oh, it's just punched over. And that's half time. I can't believe it. 1-0. I mean, we've been the better side. That is the thing with this. No doubt about it. I think, I think the stats will show that. Yep. All the possession. All the shots. It's been all Blackburn. Oh, Henley in on Alaba, but he skips away. Great play there from the Austrian. But Duffy in. Really strong. The Irishman. Ever dependable. Oh, but that's poor from Henley. He's giving it back. To Chelsea, but Oxford's in there. <laughs> Great play by Reese Oxford. Troyer has let William get the wrong side of him. This is dangerous. He's got Costa in the centre with Reese Oxford with him. Costa peels off to the near post. He's got ahead of Reese Oxford. Oh, it's palmed away just far enough from Steele. This is dangerous though. But Wendy has won it back. And he's spotted. Oh, he didn't get the right ball. But Carly was in so much space there. Falls to Nathan Redmond. Hits it. Oh, just wide. Chances are coming here from Blackburn late on, even though Chelsea turning the screw. That one fell to Redmond a little bit fortuitously. Still put it wide. Some purely defensive changes here. Left back, right back and centre back also being changed. Sapir Tider and Grant Hanley. Oh, Grant Hanley's first touch is a strong one on Eden Hazard. That could be really painful. Just a talking to for the Scotsman. It's going to take more than a talking to to get Eden Hazard back up. That was brutal. Dangerous position here, though, for Blackburn. Last play of the game. Alaba slides it in. Oh, Steele's made a massive error there. But Tider just about able to get that. Oh, that was close. And it's a huge win. Wow. Oh, my God. Blackburn continuing their incredible form, cementing their position at the top of the league with a win against Chelsea. Who saw that coming, especially at Stamford Bridge? But we deserved it. We had all the possession. We had as many shots on target and more off. Interceptions were high. Pass completion pretty decent, really. All in all, great performance. Nathan Redmond, man of the match. He's played well in the last two games, really. Buendia played well. Tider, 5.5, bit harsh. Still, great performance all around. So, wow, match day 33. And we have four points clear. Unbel I'm just the words no nothing so we're still a little bit low on cash though we're high on points low on cash we are cash 
poor, points rich. Let's see if anything's happened. Jordan I, but Dharma Traore. This is the question I'm going to be putting to you if any of you are still watching. Should I sell a Dharma Traore? He's looked decent, but we can get 6.2 million for him, which is 2 million over his market value. And that's generally the sort of time where Tim Sherwood will pull the trigger. He's a great finisher, but his passing is poor. We could bring in Ibe, who, not a great finisher, but a better passer. 22-21, Ibe a year older, but we can get Ibe in on a free transfer. Well, essentially a free transfer, I don't get it, 200,000 anyway. Maybe because he's about to become a free transfer, so letting you go fairly cheap. Then we can bring in Fredericks, and actually, with a week to go in the transfer window, we might have a little bit of extra pocket money, and we might have 3 or 4 million to to do something with, which would be interesting. So let me know if you think I should make that trade, essentially. And then if I do, what area should we look at to improve with that little bit of money we're going to have left? And if you've got any suggestions, even better. So there we go. It's been a week off, but we've come back with two wins. Incredible. And we're still top of the league. We are top of the league now by four points. When will this Blackburn slash Tim Sherwood train be derailed? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to join me in the next episode, which will be on Wednesday. So I will see you in a bit.